Hello everyone, welcome back to the FT Share channel. Today we will discuss the drivetrain system in four-wheeled vehicles, commonly known as four-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive, sometimes written as 4x4, four four, is a familiar drivetrain system, indicating that all four wheels of the vehicle can function as the driving force. This also applies to vehicles labelled as 6x4, meaning four of the total six wheels act as the driving wheels. Fundamentally, there are two types of four-wheel drive systems, four-wheel drive and all-wheel drive, as both engage all four wheels. However, four-wheel drive is often defined as vehicles using a transfer case with a 50-50 output distribution to the front and rear wheels. In contrast, all-wheel drive technology can distribute torque to the front and rear as the vehicle needs. Since four-wheel drive has two distinct types, we'll discuss them separately, and this video will focus on the four-wheel drive that uses a transfer case. As mentioned, in a four-wheel drive, you'll find a transfer case. The transfer case connects the rotation to the rear differential and the front wheel differential through gears. For your information, transfer cases are divided into two types based on vehicle weight. Light vehicles typically use a chain considered lighter and quieter. On the other hand, heavy-duty vehicles usually rely on gear arrangements. Since the working principle of both is similar, we will use the heavy-duty vehicle's transfer case as our example. Let's dive into its working mechanism. When the vehicle is in motion, after the engine generates power, which is processed by the transmission, this power is then directed to the transfer case for further processing, meaning the user can control the transfer case according to road conditions. For example, the transfer can be deactivated when driving on asphalt, meaning the power will go directly to the rear wheels. However, when entering challenging off-road terrain, the user can activate the four-wheel drive using a lever or an electric switch, which works by shifting a collar in the transfer case. This collar connects a gear assembly, transmitting the input rotation to all wheels in this configuration. It's important to note that the four-wheel drive gear isn't directly connected to the rear axle shaft. There is a bearing that makes it independent from the rear axle. The gear itself is designed to integrate with a gear that matches the shape of the driver collar gear when engaged, also known as the driven collar gear. This pair of collar gears transmits the input rotation generated by the engine, and operating the collar shift can be done through a fork or lever controlled by the driver, as mentioned earlier, either through a switch or a lever. That's the primary mechanism of four-wheel drive. As of the making of this video, the four-wheel drive system continues to evolve to tackle challenging terrains. When the torque from the first gear alone is not enough to move the vehicle on steep paths, an additional gear assembly is introduced to reduce engine speed by half. This feature is known as the low-range gear, which theoretically doubles the torque and can be activated by shifting another lever to move the collar gear. The significant torque generated by the low-range gear allows the vehicle to traverse nearly impossible terrains. Even on flat ground and mild slopes, these vehicles can keep moving without pressing the gas pedal, albeit at very low speeds. This gear is also often called crawler gear, allowing the vehicle to crawl slowly over challenging terrains. Its capability to traverse all terrains makes many people desire vehicles with this transmission. However, this system also has drawbacks to consider. With the additional components in the transfer case and a second differential, vehicles with this system are quite heavy, reducing their efficiency even when four-wheel drive is deactivated. The more complex transmission also significantly increases the vehicle's price, not to mention additional taxes, which vary in each country, often levied due to being considered luxury items and producing higher emissions. Okay, that's all the information we can provide in this video. What do you think about this transmission system? Write your thoughts in the comment section below so we can discuss further.